You've been invited into our home, into our heart. Trust in the path and you'll find the answers you seek. Even those who fight against us seek salvation. You are proof of that. We all need guidance in times like these. So we must be strong. We must be vigilant. Now you'll see. Now you'll truly understand. Because those on the outside will see what we have built here together in our new Eden. The love. They will come, and they will try to take from us all that we have built. The judgment will judge us. The things that we have done. People say that I'm crazy. But when you wake up in the morning, you look at the same news that I do. This is the world? This? This is the world we built for our children? Communities being torn apart? Walls being erected? Because leaders are too impotent to act. Bullies are too adult to lead righteously. Mankind is weak and vulnerable. And we are hurtling towards our destruction and no one is willing to do anything about it. I can see that. You can see. But we are not crazy. So what are we supposed to do? We just sit back and await the inevitable? claimed to be a perfect man. But I saw what was coming and I chose to act, to lead, because society is broken. And the only way forward is to go back to the way things once were. Innocent and pure, so safe and protected in our Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of us. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. A couple didn't make it back. Boys said... 
Anybody grab Burke? Grady, supposedly, but... Well, where the hell's Grady? Ah, oh, Jesus. Now, you just... you just relax. Lie back. I'll see you in the morning. Christ. You come out of the bliss too fast. Shit's liable to scramble your fucking brains. Hunter needs a good hat and patience. Hat for the ticks. I thought we lost you to that bliss, Deputy. Thank God for that sheriff of yours. See what you can do to help these folks out. Ah, Deputy. How you keeping? Deputy, uh, I need to ask you something. You ever heard of a fella by the name of Feeney? He was a pharmacist in town. A lot of people looked up to him. Thought he was a pillar of the community, but, uh, truth is he was nothing but a dope pusher. Feeney's with the cult now. Sorry, I uh, didn't see you. Sure am glad Sheriff Whitehorse is running the show here. Okay, Feeney's with the cult now. Help them create this bliss. Word is, he's up at Jessup Conservatory. It was a beautiful atrium back before, well, before. Now Feeney's using it to grow his poison. Nothing but fields of those awful flowers. So I was thinking, if you happen to head over there and burn them flowers, well, I bet Feeney'd come running over in a panic. I think Charles should wander off like he does. Church is afraid to fight in the dark. Shh, keep it down. I thought I'd seen it all. But the Peggy's really taking the cake. You're killing anything that moves out here. We'd be in a sorry state if it wasn't for you getting this jail under cougar Things rule. don't give a shit about conservation. I'm They'll shoot anything with a heartbeat. This long out here. I don't know if we can come back from this. Anything more dangerous than a cultus out here is a big old bear. I really don't think Charles should wander off like he does. Shots all I need. Good shooting and defending the jail, Rook. This place used to be so magical at night. But now with the Peggy's and Angels, it's a darn scary Listen, world. Listen, Rachel, Faith, she was my friend. Like, my best friend. We told each other everything. That only stopped when the father decided she was his. I did every fucking thing I could to make her realize what she was doing. She made a choice. She chose to play Daddy's special flower princess. Instead of fighting. Don't think for a minute she's innocent. Like she didn't have anybody looking out for her. I was there, okay? I was. <laughs> I hope you're not a figment of my imagination. I don't know how, but the Peggy's got their hands in this curious. Hey, cowboy. I think they got us out You're really messing with that cult.
Peggy's won't take this place as long as you're around. Thank <laughs> you. 